guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a book review of the books that I've been reading for the past like three months. Towards the end of the summer, I started reading a lot more than I have previously. I mean, for the past like two years, I'd say I've been liking reading more than I have in the past. And the thing is, I like reading, I just don't like being forced to read like for school or something. I hate that. I just want to read and enjoy it. I don't want to have to answer questions or take notes when I don't want to. So I got a lot of books over the summer and for the first half of the summer I didn't really read any of them but I made it a goal for the last like month or so of summer to read the books that I got and so that's what I did and the books like the reading went a little bit into the beginning of the school year and I'm gonna continue reading because it's fun. I enjoy it but I read let's see I read seven books from July to now, I just finished a book last night. Was that last night? Yes. Yes, I finished a book last night. So I'm going to do a book review. I'm going to briefly explain each book and then give it a rating. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Alright, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to begin, like I'm going to do this chronologically, starting with the books that I read first and then going to the more recent books that I've read. So first I read When We Collided by Emery Lord. So how I found the book, I was just wandering through Barnes & Noble, which is my favorite place to be. I was just looking around in the young adult section. I was looking for a romance, but I mean anything that caught my eye really. I read the back of this and... The book is about two characters, Jonah and Vivi. Vivi is visiting a city that I don't think is a real city in California called Verona Cove. And I don't want to spoil the entire book, but basically Jonah and Vivi both both have some trauma they both have some trauma that they need to work through. Jonah deals with depression, Vivi deals with bipolar disorder, and they both navigate through their issues together they grow really close to each other not only do they grow really close to each other but Vivi grows really close to Jonah and his family and that's a really key detail to the book so there's more connections than just the two of them and it turns into a romance but it's a little bit more complicated than your average romance because of the things that they deal with on their own um, it's just it's a really good book and I recommend it. I'm glad I picked this up because it's not it's not a popular book like I haven't seen anyone talk about this at all but you know I think if you like a good teenage romance maybe with some darker themes then I think you would enjoy this book. Um, personally I gave it like a I'd say a 3.5 or 4 out of 5 stars. I'm not sure which one, but I did really enjoy the book, and I think it's a really good book to read in the summer just because the book takes place in the summer, and so it just makes sense. But I really like this book. Alright, so next I read Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, and this is also a book that I feel like like it sounded familiar. I don't know where it sounded familiar from, but it's actually a Netflix, it's a film on Netflix, like they made it into a movie. Um, I watched, I mean, I read the book first because it's always better when you read the book first. The movie tends to leave out so many details, which it did. I watched the movie. Um, basically it's about this girl and she's in high school. There's all this drama with her and her friends. I don't want to spoil anything, but I am going to say this because it's on the back of the book, so I'm not really spoiling it, that she ends up repeating the same day over and over again and she basically has to figure out how to end this, the loop that's continuing every day and as this happens she's learning more and more about the people around her and about herself and she eventually does figure it out obviously not going to say how you'll have to read to find out this book it's a bit thick but it only took me like three days two or three days to read because it was it was good like this is the first like really good book I read in a while. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars, so it was pretty good. I recommend it. it uh, there is some romance in it. I don't, I would call it a thriller. How would I, what would I categorize this as? I really don't know what I would call this. There is 
drama, like friendship drama, there is romance in it, and also just, you know, other... I really don't know. I don't know what genre that you would categorize this in, but if you like teenage type, like it takes place in high school, like this, I can't talk. The character is a high school student. So maybe if you are the, around that age, you would find this interesting. It's a really good book. I really recommend it. I'm gonna read one of the um, like quotes that's inside the book that like kind of explains the book, like these things. Oliver, in a pitch-perfect teen voice, explores the power we have to affect the people around us in this intensely believable first novel. This is a compelling book with a powerful message and should not be missed. I agree. So, the next book I read was highly hyped on TikTok and on social media in general and on YouTube. So, I heard about it through Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And I'm like, okay, well, what's the hype about? It must be a good book, right? So I picked it up at Barnes & Noble. And honestly, I was a little disappointed. It was We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. It is a thriller, I guess you would say a thriller slash mystery. Basically, this family is rich and they go to an island. I, I'm sure you guys have heard of this book. It's super popular, but they go to this island every summer and something happens in the novel that the main character, that everyone else knows but the main character doesn't. Everyone's acting weird and basically throughout the novel, the main character is trying to figure out what happened and that no one's talking about. There is some romance in this book, but it's mostly just trying to figure out what happened, mystery, thriller type. Um, it didn't really get that interesting until like the very end. And that's why I didn't like the book that much because I felt like I don't know they could have made it more interesting the writing wasn't that good I thought personally that that you couldn't really connect to the characters that well that's usually what makes you like a book you connect to the characters and you get emotionally attached to them but I just didn't get that with this book and because of that I gave it a 2.5 out of five stars and actually a side note about before i fall the book i mentioned earlier um this made me cry at the end and if a book makes me cry at the end it's a good book so i have to say that when we collided it made me cry as well but not as much as before i fall did all right so this book is another book i picked them all up at barnes and noble but i haven't heard of it but i just stumbled upon it and it's called I Was Dead for 13 Minutes and Now I Want to Know Why by Sarah Pinborough. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Basically, this is like a thriller mystery, like hardcore. Basically, this girl, like as the title says, this girl is dead and she's found dead in a river for 13 minutes, but they revive her. And basically, it's, it's kind of similar to the last one in that throughout the story, she's trying to figure out what happened and why and there's friendship drama like big time i guess there was a little bit of romance but that was absolutely not the point of the story but it's crazy this book is insane you think for the first half of the book that you know what happened to her but then there's like all these twists and turns that are happening friendship drama you completely blown away like i I didn't have that high expectations for this book for some reason, and it surpassed my expectations. I gave this book five stars, honestly. This book had my jaw on the floor when I finished reading it. I didn't want to put this book down. If you like, like, teen drama, but also like mystery thriller, trying to figure out what happens type thing, I recommend this way more than I would recommend We Were Liars. This book is good. I don't know if it's just me, but I thought I thought this was a really good book, so you should read it. So the next book I read is also very hyped on TikTok and BookTube. Um, just once again, like any social media, everyone knows. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Everyone loves this book, uh, including me. This book, it was so good. 
and I finished it really quick. I finished most of these books pretty quick. I'm sure most of you already get the gist of this book, but it's a novel. It's a romance. It's a romance. It is definitely a romance. Oh man, this is just such a good book. Trigger warning for sexual abuse in this book, for sure. If you're sensitive to those topics, don't read it. If you're not, read it because the romance, okay, it's just, I can't, I can't say a lot about this book without giving too much away. But the main character's name is Lily and the love interest is Ryle. And they have this relationship and it seems to go great at first, but then things slowly start unfolding and it's similar to things that have happened in Lily's past in her childhood home and it's a past present type novel where she goes back to a past relationship and she's comparing it to this present relationship and it's just there's a lot of parallels drawn between her past and her present and she has to make decisions what does she want to do it's it's such a good book it made me cry I mean it made most people cry I think and I think well obviously I gave it five stars I mean who hasn't given this book five stars? Exactly. So, it ends with us by Colleen Hoover. Can't go wrong if you love romance. Now, it's time for my favorite book of all time, and I think a lot of people's favorite book of all time. Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I have never cried this much over a book before. I've never even cried this much over... A TV show or a good movie as hard as I've cried over this book <sighs> so the main character's name is Tate and the love interest is miles yes Tate just moved into her brother's apartment because she just got a job in San Francisco and she didn't have anywhere to live so she's living with her brother and miles they have a very interesting first interaction. Little does Tate know that this person that she has a strange interaction with the first day that she got there is actually her neighbor, so she's gonna have to deal with him. But basically, it's kind of like a friends with benefits situation in the beginning. But you can tell it starts getting more complicated as the book goes on, and things get like you they don't know what to do and you things get complicated things get ugly hence the name ugly love it's also a past present novel just like the other one miles is telling his story about his past relationship with a girl named rachel and things get really complicated in their relationship can't give anything away but things are crazy and it's the reason why Miles is the way he is with Tate in the present and Tate has no idea anything because one of the rules that they have is that Tate isn't allowed to ask about Miles' past and that kills Tate obviously but eventually she learns what happened and there is a happy ending to the story but there's a lot of sad things that happen because Miles has been through a lot. I was bawling my eyes out towards the end, but it ended well. And then I was crying happy tears because the book ended so well. So that's Ugly Love. Five stars, obviously. Read it. So the last book that I read, I just finished last night, and it's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. A lot of people have also talked about this on TikTok and booktube if you don't know booktube is just a name for like the book side of youtube where people talk about books all the time this book was interesting basically it's about evelyn hugo and her life and the book is split by is split into sections each section is her life when she's with a different husband hence seven husbands of evelyn hugo the Seven Husbands is what she's best known for, but there's obviously a lot more to her, and you learn that throughout the book. She's a very interesting character, very dynamic. She's not one-sided at all. And this girl, Monique, is a journalist. Journalist? She writes for a magazine company, 
and she is interviewing Evelyn Hugo because everyone, she was a famous actress, so everyone wants to know about her. Um, she's older now, but anyway, wow, I like, I'm not, I'm not that good at this, but it is a really, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good book. I, I think I had really high expectations for this because a lot of people gave it like five stars. I gave it four stars. It was still really good and there were definitely some sad parts of the book. There is romance in the book, but it's not in the way that you would think based off of the title. It's like you wouldn't expect it. It's it's not it's just it's different. It's a very different book. You wouldn't expect what happens to happen. And I did enjoy reading it and by the end of the book I was trying to figure out like I was just eager to see what was gonna happen at the end. And the ending the ending was okay. I kind of already knew how the book was gonna end based off of what people were saying. But overall, it's a solid book, so I gave it four stars, and I think it deserves four stars. And if you're interested in, I don't know, reading things, I don't, I don't know what I would classify this as, but if you like romance, there is some romance in here. But it's mostly just about Evelyn Hugo and how she grows as a person, and also Monique and how she learns from Evelyn's experiences. So, this is a very good book. I do recommend it. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my recommendations and if you enjoy reading too, please give me book recommendations. I'm always looking for more. I still have some books on my shelf that I want to read and then after that I have a, a list of books that I want to get in the future and I will read them and most likely review them on my channel. So if you enjoyed this video, that's good. I hope you have a great morning, day, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. Leave a like. I don't know. Leave a comment. Thank you for watching.